Proper scanning of the left atrial appendage is very important to either confirm or exclude presence of the thrombus or, or different devices in the left atrial appendage. Uh, here we have uh, an image of the um, left atrial appendage, usually um, acquired once you insert the probe uh, to the mid-esophageal position. However, you can see that there is a Coumadin ridge which uh, can uh, create sort of uh, artifacts in the left atrial appendage and also we cannot really measure the orifice of the uh, atrium because if I scan it with the angles from 0 to 120, I see that sometimes the uh, appendage disappears from my view. So it's important to understand that in order to scan it properly, we have to insert the probe deeper, closer to the uh, transgastric views, and then ang uh, change the angle of the tip of the device and uh, position the uh, left atrial appendage in the center of the screen. And then uh, once you rotate, the plane from, is from 0 to 135 degrees, you will see this uh, appendage all the time in your uh, scanning plane and you can uh, appreciate the comp complex structure of this appendage and measure properly the orifice. To understand the anatomy, it's also good to look at this model here. So we are now scanning the left atrial appendage from below uh, instead of scanning it from behind the left uh, upper pulmonary vein, which creates this Coumadin reach problem, which ob obscures the, the view. Mm -hmm.